Sox cap. There's a Dagger <laughs> Vance Sox thing going on. That's so. right. <laughs> Showbiz Shelly here at the Green Tie Ball with DJ White Shadow. Hey, Hi. What's up, Shelly? Yeah, I hey. just saw you a couple weeks ago at the Lady Gaga show. Oh, right. You did awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Now, what was it like being at Wrigley Field, getting to be a part of that whole thing? I mean, she made history that night. Yeah, I mean, man, I, there's a million people standing in front of you at Wrigley Field. It's like, I used to just try to sit outside and get a ticket for five bucks you know, <laughs> <laughs> to watch the game, you know. But, look where you are now. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a nobody. dude. It's nothing. But it was, it was really fun to play. Right? And, I mean, it's Wrigley Field. I mean, like, just standing there was awesome. Like, if I would have had five seconds to just stand there, it would have been great. So, like, being able to play records for people in Chicago, like, it was awesome. And so I know, well, first of all, you're from Chicago. You're a Chicago guy. I'm, 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 I was born in Ohio, raised in Detroit. Uh, now I'm in Chicago. But now you're, like, a Chicago guy. I'm Can Chicago from, from now until I die. Until for forever? Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what is, I mean, being able to DJ and make music sort of in this place where now you call home, I mean, is that a pretty special thing as opposed to sort of being out in L.A. where maybe a lot of those people go for music or New York? No, I fly to L.A. every Monday. I fly do back you? every Thursday, yeah. Oh, man. But, but, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. Yeah. But I will tell you this. The reason why I do that is yeah. because I make the bread at home. Like, this is, like, Chicago is the home of house music. All my greatest soulfulest friends are all from Chicago, Detroit. The Midwest is the home of rock, the home of soul, the home of rap like there's a ton of stuff that's happened in, in in the midwest that like can never be replaced you know the choice of Detroit rock city home of techno motown chicago home of house and like i i grew up on all of that and i'm never gonna leave like it's the best place of all time so for you what's what's do you have like a favorite place to perform here a place that you just love I, i'm not a performer like you know what i mean like i, I i'm a weirdo this is super weird for me to actually be really? talking to you right now is i have it? like wildly social anxiety about stuff are you which is why i'm rubbing my hands the whole time or i didn't even like notice myself. you're doing a but, great job but, but, but like um yeah I, I i like being behind the scenes like i i started being a dj because nobody cared about a dj before you know you get to play music and go to a cool party like that i didn't actually want to go to to be a person there yeah i wanted to stand behind a big table and nobody ever see me and be able to play records that i like so like um i guess now some of that has i have to like suppress that and like go out and do this kind of stuff but like i'd much rather just sit in my house and be a nerd <laughs> I, well, I'm much of an introvert, too, so yeah. I get that. But how do you get over that? Do you just sort of, like, yeah. you push yourself? Vodka? <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, that'll work. Um, you're good friends with Lady Gaga. I mean, she talks about you at her show. Yeah. What's your friendship like? Tell me about it. I, you know, she's like my little sister. We've been together yeah. for a really long time. Yeah. And and she's got a super kind heart, and she's a beautiful woman, and, you know, I learn from her all the time. I, I, I'd like to think that we help each other and we have a good relationship. I don't know. She's a cool, she's a cool girl. She yeah. seems cool. Yeah. Her documentary is coming out, I think, next yeah, week. Yeah, next week. Next Friday. Yeah. Are we going to see you in it at all? So, I took a bit of a hiatus in the last like year and a half. Okay. When she was working on the Joanne record or whatever, I was kind of there and like listening and whatever, but it wasn't really my record or like kind of my direction like it wasn't just you know but like we, even through the Tony Bennett thing it, it's not my direction I, I don't know anything about jazz I don't know anything about that kind of rock thing that Mark knows about so I guess that's part of it being a friend right knowing when to step back and like lend your support know totally. when to take the reins totally. and like do whatever so so she made a, a fantastic record but most of the five foot two documentary is about her making that record so again I try my best not to Stick my face in there. I was gonna say, I hope she's doing okay because she seems to be in a lot of pain. Like, she was posting how she's in pain. It's a hard job, man. Yeah. It's a hard job. I, I mean, I just worked out for like a half hour today and I want to poop myself. Right? I, I was there earlier today. I yeah. Know. yeah. It's like, you, you know, you go out on that stage and you yeah. like lay it out for that many people. To be honest with you, like, and go back to the Wrigley Field thing, it's like you think about that stuff. It's mentally exhausting just to think about how you're going to do it. And I'm not running around dancing or like no fire popping up behind me and being in control of that kind of like mental or whatever like where people are moving around it's your show and like you have to connect with everybody I only had to be up there for 45 minutes I actually sent her a text where I was like holy god like I, I, I finally have one second of understanding like how you're doing this I, I have no idea how you're doing this and 
sometimes we're all human, man. Like sometimes the body just wears out, you know. So she she's she was tired, she got sick. And yeah. Stinks, and I, she'll make it up, and everything will be fine. Like she loves her fans so much. And yeah. No, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Is it weird that her ex is behind you, or no? Oh no, we're all friends. We're You're adults, friends, you know. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just I mean, like sure, yeah. Taylor's a great guy, man. We, yeah. We've, 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 you know, the first day I met him, I tried to fight him. Actually, like, Why? Story. I don't know. We were just two men in the same cage. The vodka? Heads. Yeah, maybe the vodka. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, like, I, I love Taylor, yeah. like, so much. She's a great spirit as well. And, I mean, you know, I don't know. I didn't even, I, 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 I naturally assumed in my head that that question would come up, <laughs> but I, and I didn't know, I don't know how to prepare for it because like, it's like, we're all just human beings, you know what I mean? Right, I, I'm, right. I'm friends with a lot of my friends, mm -hmm. ex-husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, well, whatever. it's you know. just all you're in the same circle, yeah. I imagine, so it happens all the I time. Mean, we're, all, yeah. we're all friends. Yeah. Cool people are just cool people, and like, cool. whatever it I is, agree. is whatever it is. And yeah. I agree, he is one of the coolest, he's yeah, a good he's a nice one. nice guy. So, very nice. Well, anything else you want to add, say about this evening? I mean, it's awesome you're here for a great cause, obviously. No, I mean, I think Chicago is the most beautiful city of all time. Most wonderful, livable, incredible city ever. And uh, it's got everything that you need and nothing that you don't want. That's right. And, and, and part of it is that, like, yeah, it's beautiful. And this charity, like, keeps the city beautiful. So, man, if they call me to do 20 push-ups for charity, I would do it. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about it. Well, great to meet you. Yeah, nice good to meet you. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right.